terrorists. Hold on. Here's Terra's Daily Rant. If your child is 12 and come ha- comes home to you and says, hey, mom, I want to transition to the opposite gender. I want to take puberty blockers. I want to take hormones that are sterile, that will sterilize me. And you say, listen, son, you're, you're 12. You can't make that kind of decision. I mean, you can't even consent to a date. You can't join the military. You can't drink a beer. You can't drive, can't vote because you just, you know, mentally your brain isn't done growing. So why don't you wait until you're an adult, an adult and make a decision like that, especially since puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones can sterilize you. Well, you say that to your child, your child might not come home the next day in Washington state or ever again. Wait, what, where will they go? State will take them. Washington state, the legislature just passed a new bill Hasn't been signed by the governor yet, but that's just a formality. It will be. To allow the social services department there, it's called the Department of Children, Youth, and Families, to remove children to group homes for their safety if their parents oppose any sort of gender transition the child has expressed interest in or abortion. And they can take the child without even informing the parents. So your child leaves your house, goes to school, tells the guidance counselor, the teacher, hey, my mom won't let me transition. My mom won't let me take the puberty blockers. My mom won't take me to the doctor um, to get what they call a top surgery. Have my breasts removed. I want my breasts removed. I'm 14. Um, And your child just doesn't come home anymore. The state takes your child takes custody of your child so that they can go through with the gender transition. Um, The problem with these laws that a lot of people don't realize right now, you're thinking, well, this is in Washington state. If your child can get to Washington state or, you know, you have an adult who takes the child to Washington state, the the child rents an Uber and gets to Washington state, even though you live here in South Carolina, the government takes custody. This nullifies all custody arrangements in other states. So, I mean, we are very quickly going to need kidnapping laws to be passed. In other words, making it illegal for any adult to assist a child in running away um, to one of these states um, where the custody is then taken by the government. But folks, this is the direction all of this is going. And I told you this would happen. I've been warning about this for a couple of years now. And we have the first law on the books. Minnesota is debating a similar law. So we're going to we're going to see this. We're going to see parents frantic because their 12 year old did not come home and is never coming home again because the state is taking custody and that because the parents you know and parent here's the funny thing parent might be fine with a gender transition as long as you wait to be an adult when you can you know you can consent to it it doesn't matter not your choice anymore not in the state of washington can you even wrap your mind around that i mean that is just there's no words for it. I say, I mean, it's this is done. And you want to know where they're going? You want to know what the next round of laws is going to be? I'll tell you. I have been wait. I've been telling you they are they are they wanted to do this, decriminalizing romantic relationships between adults and children, because love is love. You know, we have adult attracted children and. And children attracted adults. By the way, USA Today actually has a name for that. They're called MAPS, Minor Attracted Persons. They shouldn't be forced to deny their love. Says who? Oh, wait for it. The UN. In March, the UN passed. It's right there on their website. I had to click all the way back to the website and make sure this was real. I was like, this can't be. Oh, my Lord, it's real. The report by the UN is called the March 8th Principles for human rights-based approach to criminal law, prescribing conduct associated with sex, reproduction, drug use, HIV, homelessness, and poverty. And it demands worldwide the decriminalization of relationships, including sex, between adults and minors. You knew this is where they were going. 
This is why they are in schools. This is why they're pushing sexual content, homosexual content, heterosexual content, doesn't matter. The whole point is to get the adult talking with the child about sex and for the child to see adults in authority, like at schools or wherever else as someone you should go to have a relationship with, including a sexual relationship. Let me read this from the UN report with respect to the enforcement of criminal law, any prescribed minimum age of consent. Any think about that to sex must be applied in non-discriminatory manner. Enforcement may not be linked to the sex, gender of participants, or age of consent. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terra Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.